What's up guys, welcome to another YouTube video. Now this is future me talking. Right now in this video, we're just fresh off a 30 game sample size of the Ironclad. We ended up 20 and 10, which is 66%. Okay, I missed it the last six games, but that's besides the point. Now we wanna do a deep dive on the defect, kind of analyze what's going on with this class, and maybe get a nice little 70% win rate as well. This video is gonna be like the fledgling beginning of this. You're gonna see a lot more defect runs to come, a lot of good ones as well. This one has Sneko, it has Echo, you know how those things go, but it wasn't super easy. We did have a lot of fun, and we utilized one of our favorite cards, Discovery. Discovery defect is the bee's knees. If you don't think so, hopefully you will after this video. Drop a like if you guys enjoy it. Do it preemptively if you're a true supporter, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace. Let's go back to the analysis of what we're doing, which is fledgling, and let's see if we're on the right track or if I'm still out of my mind. Out of my mind, but certainly not out of time. It's 12, 12, 18. Hey, nice. I'm still kind of in speedrun mentality, right? I'm in speedrun mode. Bugger, bugger. Ooga, ooga. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Alright, look at that. That storm pool, no powers, huh? Ribbon tear, huge. Power pot, nice. Storm with that goes real well. Do we take Dolly's mirror for what? Absolutely not. T set for what? Really bad shot, for all things considered. Pretty bad shot, for all things considered. Data disc, oh, oh, what? Oh. Data disc. for this elite fight? Yes, yeah, certainly. Certainly, deep buffer's not bad. Deep frag's not bad. Wow, wow, wow. Wow, 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 wow. Wow. Okay, let's go. Let me show you how he's done. Compile, we talked about this, the base. Foundation of the class. Is it? Is it really? I'd say it is. But Compile doesn't have the same upgrade as Palmer Strike. That's a little bit awkward, right? Doesn't have the same upgrade as Palmer Strike. Orange Bay is massive. The heal was fantastic. Orange Bay is large. Barge and in charge, Hornfleet is my lord. Hornfleet is top tier. Let's talk about relics. Loop. Now we can have some necessity. Okay, now we can start talking about storm. Storm. Now we have loop. Let's see what we have. Powers here. Powers here exists. Creative AI. Creative AI storm. There we go. Game's over. All right, we don't need anything else. Okay, let's be realistic. The toolbox is very good. Toolbox remove is very good here. Obviously, creative AI. It can be like is for long fights. Do we need creative AI for the hexagos? Probably. Do we solve Hexaghost right now? I mean, I don't know. We have Rip and Tear. We have a Ball Lighting. We have a Loop. I think we can kill Hexaghost right now as, as we stand. Creative Eyes for the long fights. Toolbox is for the life. This is just rough draft, though. I don't know. A lot of pattern play here. A lot of pattern play here. Kind of curious to see how this plays out. A lot of pattern play, but this is how it starts. You speed it. You pattern play it. And then you start thinking, wait a minute. But in this situation, I reckon I could have done this. This is not for Winry right now. This is just messing around. Type out worth it? It saves some life. Obviously, you don't want to take this much damage in the class, unless you have self-repair. So self-repair is, is huge. It's a huge card. Self-repair is massive. If you want to save some life, you take go for the eyes and you upgrade it. Now, of course, it doesn't hit all the time. Ooh, Panache, Magnetism. Magnetism is a gift that keeps on giving. Let's go. But I also want to get a loop. I want all the cards. But now we have Apotheosis. Boom! And you're telling me Magnetism wasn't worth it? Magnetize who? Can we get Richard Feynman in here? 
Please, bring Richard Five and talk about magnets. Master strategies in the deck. Look at the powers. Look at the powers. Whoo, look at the damage. Look at the speed, the momentum. Wow, we have damage from everywhere. Now let's get a block profile. Let's get some uh, some sustain. And let's kick the spider's ass here. Sneko. Ooh, Sneko makes a call for the guys woefully sad, but Sneko makes everybody else super happy. I can imagine Choker's probably better here. Choker doesn't... But we get seven cards over Sneko, which is huge, right? Unfortunately, Sneko also makes a lot of my cards worse. But my average cost of my deck is one cost or lower. So Sneko makes it bad. But Sneko is good in a deck that wants to set up. You can set up what? Powers. We only have one power. It's probably Choker here. But Sneko can start changing the way cards we chose, right? So now we can start choosing the Echo Forms. The rare card that is elusive and not guaranteed to be found. Oh, imagine finding Echo Form randomly. Yeah, you can't take Sneko and say we're gonna get Echo, because Echo's a rare. It doesn't work that way. But we could also find Sunders. That's a card. Sunder. Okay, what else? The card draw necessitates, or not necessitates, but allows us to, uh, I guess, set up better but not really because we've got more of a hand the powers cost too much and we're not setting up crap meteor strike Ooh, another rare card similar to the same vein as echo form can't really build around that if rare cards are what we're looking for creative ai okay creative ai we're talking a little bit cooking with some gas okay another rare card those are three rares that work with sneko and unfortunately the one uncommon is Thunder, and Thunder is good enough. Doom and Gloom is good as well. Let's do it. Doom and Gloom, Thunder, enough uncommons. I figured out two. Ah, but to go for the eyes, and my cost of the deck is so low. We're bound to get screwed here, probably. However, rough draft. It's all good. That's what makes the game fun. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Ooh. Oh, this is intriguing. No, 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 20... No, so 20... Uh, 10 was probably ironclad. We already finished it. We already finished it. I, 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 I'm probably going to come back and do some more. Just not now. Cycle with Snickle is really nice. Enlightenment. That's cute. That's really cute. Let's put one of those in our deck. Let's just have one of those in our deck just for fun. Really cute. Really, really, really cute. Really, really, really. Really, really, really cute. How much is this? It's going to be four times nine. That's lethal. By golly gee, that's a lot of damage. Tempest. Potion chance is getting quite high. Ooh, we can get a curse. Who's down for the cause? I am. Meal ticket. That's sustain, baby. That's huge. That's big, big, big. Ooh, discovery, the gift that keeps on giving. Bullseye is not bad. Bullseye is not bad. Obviously, Steam Barrier blocks. Steam Barrier blocks, but Bullseye goes into Tempest next turn. But maybe Tempest is going to kill regardless next turn, right? Right? Tempest kills anyways next turn? Kappa? 
Kappa 1, 2, 3. Look at this. Double your energy. And then smack! The deck is functioning like a madman. Auto shields. I like it. Speed pot is not as good as explosive here. Now let's see what elites we're going to do. Remove a card. Okay. Is there a shop coming? Let's remove a card. Let's get rid of these strikes. These strikes are terrible. You hate to see them. How many elites can we do? Well. Well, if I'm being quite honest. If I'm being quite honest. I uh, don't like loop at all here. And I, I actually don't like any of the upgrades. What am I talking about? This is probably a rest. A rest for 19? I don't know. Yeah, rest for 19. Yeah, it's, removing Rise is better. The reason why removing Rise is better because we're not Ironclad. So Recycle is actually a card in our deck. And Recycle can hit a strike for energy. It cannot hit Rive for energy. So yes, because of Recycle, Rive is worse. Yeah, that's a good call. That's a good call. Uh, most of the time we're moving... I just came from Ironclad where moving strikes is better because you can handle curses through second wind, true grit, and you can handle curses through blue candle. But on the defects, yeah, the strike is better to have than the writhe because of the recycle. Yeah, my bad. Uh, can I do this with this much life? Like, I don't know. I feel like I'm pushing it, but... I don't even like this upgrade. But it's the only upgrade I have. I could remove the rive there, I guess, make the deck consistent. That's not bad, it's kind of cute. Kind of cute. Ah, but I'm already confused. Second wind, true grids. Uh, uh, blue candle. How much damage do we have? Look at the damages. Boom! Okay, no damage taken. Let's see the elite now. Oh my god, Essence of Darkness is huge! Ah! But why? But why must you give me such a good, powerful potions when I am not ready for them. Oh, I like to, I like to dig. Alright, this could be troublesome, I must say. This could be very troublesome. We can exhaust my whole damn hand that doesn't do anything. Dark Cycles is more relevant. Oh my god. Take me out of the ball game, please. This is devastating. Hello? No storm? That's unfortunate. And if I do Essence Darkness now, I get Dark on Loop. Is that necessary? Oh god, but I want to do Meal Ticket and I don't get Meal Ticket value here. This is bad. Bad news bears. Maybe I was supposed to save that potion. Perhaps. Perhaps I was. Well, we get our ass kicks. Yeah, this is a common thing with me getting my ass kicks. I kind of realized there's like a... I don't know, like a pretty common thing with me getting my ass kicks. Isn't that kind of interesting? Or like getting my ass kicks is kind of just... Uh, something I do right now? I think so. If I do dual cast, it's not bad. Hmm. I like this. Check this out. Check this out. I do this. Does letter opener proc first? It doesn't proc first. But you lied to me. That's good to know. Because if letter opener proc first, we get extra 20 damage. Yikes. Yikes. Forever. Alright. I want to go to the shop. Ah, self repair is huge. Meteor strike. Ah, did I just rush this? I did. Was meteor strike necessary? Probably. I saw self. I saw self repair and I clicked it. But, but this is actually fine. 
This is actually fine. This is fine. Do we need more frost? I would like more frost. Do we have any frost? We don't have any frost. Do we want frost? Not necessarily. Okay. Discovery defect. Discovery defect. Guys, if you guys don't think about... Oh, I can also dig now. Yikes. Discovery defect is so good. I'm sorry. I just have to shout out discovery defect. When I see it, I take it. Um, oh, we're getting our ass kicked. Dude, Snicko was not kind to me. Jeez Louise. Snicko, at least buy me dinner first. I have a... I have a reputation here. Discovery is so bad. Why did I take Discovery? What the hell is this? Moody strikes? Yeah, if Moody strikes, probably better. <laughs> probably better, I can I can imagine. I need to get some repair out though. Oh, some repair is so expensive. It's interesting. Uh, let's try to draw back into self-repair, right? Is that fair? Is it fair to draw back into self-repair here? Self repair, but I didn't know if I was gonna get blocked or not. How do you think we handled the Colosseum fight here? How do you guys think? How do you think we handled it? Good or bad? Terribly. brother it is I the man the myth the legend the Colosseum conqueror the fearless warrior the self-repair player the self-repair player And if we didn't do it, we're short at instance in a courier with a hundred gold and entropic and a card. And an echo form. I took it and got the echo form. And these cowards who didn't do it are crying in the corner. Thanks for the 40 bits. I could probably rest here, but what if I dig? Alright, we're going against collector. We have echo form now though. I have 22 life and I have Entropic Brew. Let's, let's drink this, see if this is. Okay, we saw what they are. I could dig here. Dig for anything. Just relics. Are we saying 22 life is enough? I mean, we don't have good AoE. How much is the rest? The rest is 23. It puts us, we have Incense Burner, which is going to be proct um, on turn 6, which is 2 turns after the debuff. I want to dig all the time. What would we upgrade? We would probably upgrade nothing. Maybe hologram. I'd upgrade hologram. And self prepare for the Act 3, but whatever. I could dig. You can't dig. Is the waffle is shop only, right? Yeah, waffle shop only. 
Okay. But what about I mean Echo Echo should make the fight easier, right? But at the same time we're still three energy twenty two life. Uh, I don't want to ruin a good run here. I think we should ride this, we win the run. And I pooched my pants and didn't dig. And what does that make me? I pooped my pants and I didn't dig. Who am I? Okay, so we can do discovery twice. Is that good? What about recycle twice? Recycle twice gets rid of a lot of stuff and gives us energy. Recycle gives us... Uh, a lot of energy here. The dog is digging for me because I didn't dig, so the dog is digging for me. Also, loop twice is also doing a lot of storm damage. Loop twice is doing storm damage, but... Yeah, buddy! Who's that boy? Who's that boy? Da -da 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 -da, da -da 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 -da. All right. <clears throat> Who? Sheesh. Sheesh. Oh, Echo Farm, you're trolling me. Fighting Frost on loop is better or nah? Whatever. Intense is next turn. Huge! I love discoveries. I want all the discoveries. All the time. I freaking love them. Amplified machine learning would have been nice. I don't want to put too many skills because the guy dies, he's about to resummon. This is really bad news. This is really bad news. Because the guy's about to resummon. I don't want to... I mean... Eh, this is awkward. He, I, I have to play... Okay, first of all, I have to play this. First and foremost. I have to play this, secondly. And if the guy's resummoning, you don't want to kill. But you also don't want to take damage, necessarily. But, since you're leaving one up, you... Ah... Uh, this is the play. Sorry. It's the play. I got to do ball landing first. I got to do ball landing first. Look at the damages. Now we have full block and damage abound. I can go this and but that gives me no card draw. I can do recycle, make the deck smaller. Why do I make the deck smaller? So I could um draw into cards I want to see. Like what? Like more thunder strikes and discoveries and make a new deck. Recycle your whole deck and then make a new deck with discovery. This is how you play Defect. Sneko Discovery. Build a deck. This is how you play Defect. Just need this every run. Sneko, Echo Form, Discovery. Every run. There we go. Doesn't work that way. Alright, so... Let's see what we can do. And this is what I like to see, though. Yes, sir. Thunder Strike got drawn. Oh, no. I get all that X's block. What am I doing? I mean, not only the clown, but the whole circus. We got weak in here, which is uh, something. Is it good, though? Is weak and good here? Do 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 Pew 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 I got a feeling this is a sad bit better
Boom, 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 boom. Oh, discovery. Say it ain't so. What do you got for me? Blizzard, perfect. Sunders, why not? But loop, I like it too. Let's blizzard him. Let's loop him. Let's ball lightning. Let's compile. Let's draw. Let's play cards. Let's recycle. Let's rejoice. And let's win. Now, how much damage did I take in that fight? One damage? And I rested? When I had Echo Sneko, remind me never to rest and always dig. I just... We got Buffer versus Creative AI. Hindsight rest is the worst feeling in the world. Because I could have had a relic. Oh well. Take care, T-Peaks. Uh, I like buffer here, but do we need the creative eyes scaling? No, we have discovery. Let's go buffer here. Pandora's box or energy? Energy. Okay, let's go. All right, we have to do the sparkle, so that is right there. Let's go for mind bloom. Look at mind bloom, guys. Hand of greed. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hand of Greed can kill this guy with... Nah, it's not good enough. What is damage you take, though? What is this? That's, that's foul. Yo, Terrence! Thanks for the raid, man. I hope you had a great stream. I hope you had a great stream, man. Uh, let's just work around with the sprinter. We're just messing around, doing some deep dive, rough analysis on the, the defects, right? We're doing some... Some analysis on the defect and how it performs, and maybe some things that we've been doing wrong in our life. So we're playing a little bit fast, playing a little bit loose, being maniacal, but it's just a rough draft analysis. Because we just did Ironclad, we finished 66%. All right, I ended 2010 on 30 games of Ironclad, which is, you know, less than what I wanted, but I'm happy enough. We'll probably continue it later. For now, we're doing some deep dive analysis, boys. By deep dive, I mean we're going kind of crazy. And what do we want to play? We want to play Hand of Greed, right? So we should be careful here. And try to get Hand of Greed if we can. Especially with Buffer Proc. Now, Buffer Proc... Okay, that's fine. Now... I want to keep the Buffer Proc, but I don't want to do Letter Opener, because Letter Opener kills this guy. That's bad. We're in a conundrum. So we're going to lose Buffer Proc. And what that means is that I have to... This is awkward. Let me explain why. Okay. I lose the buffer proc. But now for hand of greed. Where is it? Okay. That's awkward. Because now we have to defend, defend the hand of greed. Which is totally fine. If the energy cost is correct. Let's do this. Okay. Let's see. Now I'm bitter enough. Okay. Okay. So this pass. That opener is too strong. And this is all for the sake of greed. And what greed does to a man. And what greed does to a man is says that you can take it and rejoice. And our instance is perfect. Instance is perfect. Our goal is high. Fairy in the bottle is here. And it is like clockwork. Now, we could probably take another hologram because Sneko hologram is pretty good on average. I mean, pretty good. Looking for Mind Bloom. Whoa, gold, baby. Now I can dig and I can buy with Courier. We are in great shape. Get a rare relic. What's it going to be? What's it gonna be? Don't tell me it's gambling chip or snack why. Don't tell me that. Don't do it to me. You know I can't handle that. Bias cog? Okay, I can deal with that a little bit. Let's put Ride on top. Put my love on top. Ooh, ooh, baby. I can do Discovery again. I can do Equilibrium. Equilibrium is blocking the damage, which is important, right? However, Discovery could be anything. Are you guys discoverers? Or you want are you guys the, the full block kind of dudes? Full block, hold your hand for two turns. It doesn't matter, next sure we don't take any damage. Alright, we're kind of discovery kind of dudes, aren't we? We are, we are, we gotta be. We gotta be. Okay, I take it all back. This discovery was never worth it. I 
Okay. Buffer. Set a buffer. Why not? Now we're looking for damage, and we're also looking for Echo Form. World to Echo Form. Hello, hello. I mean, regardless of Echo Form, we got a lot of damage down. Oh boy. So this is actually quite good because if you do block block, buffer's perfect. I mean, and this is serendipitous. Look at book buffer here. Full block, no damage. Echo form is down. Game's over. I heal for forever if I wanted to, but not necessarily because I think I like this better. And just like that, a rare relic. A tungsten rod right into the chin. Huge. Huge, but this doesn't change anything. And we know that defects with Sneko and Echo Form is strong. This is not solving the class. This is not speaking for what commons and how they function on average. I mean, Turbo here. Turbo doesn't even exist in this iteration because we have seven cards all. That is basically the power of Compile Driver every turn that has two orb slots that are different. Plus the cost production of things. I mean, oh my god, it's ridiculous. So, would you like any of these cards? Do you like any of these cards? Oh, I kind of like the leap. I, I like the leap. I also think darkness is pretty good for damage, but... You know, I don't hate the leap. I don't hate it. Oh, Max, the speed's gone. Rest in peace. Okay. Potion belt. My lord. Digging. Bottle tornado. Cowabunga, baby. Woo! Oh, oh, oh. Let's go, man. That's huge. Absolutely massive. Do we have the damage for this fight? He asks with trepidation. This is a good start in damage front. What that's gonna lead? That's gonna lead to Discovery giving Thunder Strike. And I'm hoping this Thunder Strike is retroactive, meaning that it's counting the cards I'm playing now. But Buffer Twice is very good in a fight that has big smackers. And setting up loop is pretty good in a fight that where you want to kind of go long. And getting infusion is not bad. All right, and we, and we draw so many cards a turn. So this turn is instant burner, so we take no damage. And then we have buffer for the turns after. I mean, you can start seeing how crazy this becomes. I could do multicast to get enough energy for the rest of the game. That's not very relevant. I could heal twice, but that gets rid of my fusion. I don't personally like that, but it does lead into a bigger multicast. I like the idea of multicast being damaged. I like buffer in my back. <clears throat> and I like discovery more than anything. Oh my god, Creative Eye and Glacier, what is going on? And I can't even be in charge of that. So this is obviously a buffer. Okay. And now we're asking for the create hologram to bring back what is, was once ours, but no longer, okay. So we can go, go a little long in this fight, right? Thunderstrike, does it keep it? It does, look at that, seven times 18. Thunderstrike is counted throughout the fight. That is huge. Oh, game's over. I was messing around, but, you know, this will suffice, absolutely. And I will say that Thunderstrike would be great in the deck, by the way. Potion belts here, my, like, just waiting to collect potions. I'm here waiting to see what else I can get, because I like to gamble, and why not? The boot, are you kidding me? Is that a sign of disrespect? Probably. So we have Reinforced Body, Bullseye, and Storm. So Bullseye is saying, I can help your damage profile. 
By applying me, orbs do twice as much damage in a world with no focus. Mm, do we like that? Do we like the bullseye artifact stripping in a world with no focus adding damage to our orbs, which is storm enabled? I mean, it's okay. It's okay. Rings for bo reinforced body you can play regardless of the costs of Sneko. It's always a fail safe in terms of block. Do we like the fail safe in terms of block? Yes, not it's not the worst. Does bullseye perform better? Not because of the cost. Do we want a second storm? Not over reinforced body. All right, we got everything out of the way. We got a recall. Remember that. First we dig, and then we can recall all we want. Okay, let's go ahead and see what we want to get. Ah, uh, sorry about that, marbles. Let's go. And why not madness? Because it's gonna hit echo form. Okay, that works. That works. That works. That works. Is it a waste of buffer? Absolutely. Do we care? A little bit. But why is it not a big deal? Because we have self repair. Self repair exists. The boot. Don't tell me the boot sucks. Don't say it to my face. Don't say it to my face. Yeah, that's whatever. Not that big of a deal. Discovery. Let's go. I can even take the damage liberally now. Why not? Self repair still exists. Unfortunately, I said no thank you. I kinda like discovery there more. And guess your body full blocks. And we were doubting this card. Why? I can do even better. I can do you even better. You see these cards would suck? Now the deck is smoother. Move. I love that. I absolutely love that. We didn't get some repair out. Is that bad? Can we stall the fight even more? Nah, you know, with reinforced body in the deck, which is not, it's currently in discard. Um I mean we can still repair in the next fight, right? Why would I want to stall this fight? That's, ah, because of in Instance Burner. So it's not just self-repair, but Instance Burner. We want Instance Burner to be on what? Four or five? Probably four, but it could be Giant Head again. Now, uh, if it's Reptomancer, I would say four is better. So let's stack the Instance Burner and, and not be crazy here. And get some healing while we're at it. And get some healing while we're at it. Now, if only I could play self-repair and defend this turn, that would be glorious. Would it not? Would it not? Yeah, you know, it is better to recall right there where I dug. So that... I can have my options open if I want to rest or do something before the next final boss instead of being forced to recall. I agree. What's up, Novox? Novox is prayer. So we want it on five now. You know, I forgot to mention that there's a fight in between then and now. <sighs> I do too much damage. Frick, I do too much damage. I want to get some prepared out. Please stop doing so much damage. No, I can't even stack instance burner. This is bad. This is bad, 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 bad. Alright, I need to get a... 
This needs to give me card draw now. Oh god. Anti sprinters are all the wrong. Anti sprinters all the wrong. All the wrong wrong. Oh no. And a greed and violence. Double discovery, that's gonna solve the fight. Easily. Easily. Trivial even. Completely trivial even. Double buffer, it's intriguing. But I'll tell you what. I have 781 gold. There's no shop in sight. I have to get to act four. My lord, and when I get to act four, am I awaiting a courier shop? Oh, I can't wait. Uh, how do we get there? How do we get there? Okay, okay. Let's see here. Awkward turn. I must say. We can draw a lot of cards, though. This can draw me six cards. Six cards. Of which I can only see a certain amount. Hey, nice so much prayer. Cool, man. Cool, cool, cool. Glad I can help you sleep. Bum, bum. Ba -da 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 -da. I want to get that for multicast. I want a multicast right now. Give me thundering. Give me multicast. Oh, I want a multicast so bad. Please let me have my wish. I'm asking you nicely. However, it appears that this is the solution. So this is going to be five or ten times nine. Not enough damage. I meant to do something else first, and then this, of course. Alrighty. Don't for self-repair. Let's go, let's go, let's go. I could equilibrium here. And... And affects my negative, my next roll. We want to get Inspirator stacks, perhaps, right? Oh, we got double discovery. Ah, that's tempting, always. Except I can't draw. Doesn't matter because lethal is here. Except it isn't. I forgot that it isn't. Okay, but I don't give a damn about potions. I don't give a damn about potions. We're gonna get tons of potions. We have so much gold. We just got. I don't give a damn. I don't give a damn. I don't give a damn. Discovery though, I do give a damn. Discovery into discovery, I do give a damn. Mm -hmm. Ooh, we got self repair right on our face. Speaking sweet, sweet, sweet things. 
Thank you, M. Badger. Let me use the bathroom. Okay. There's a lot of damage. Let's prevent that. We got Discovery Gamers here, or you guys want Doom and Gloom Gaming? Say no more. I heard it, I heard it, and like, you know, in, in your silence, I can see that you really respected the, uh, the Doom and Gloom play. So we want to get back into self repair, right? How does one do that? Very carefully. Like a pink bottle, right? Now we have pink bottle managed, instant burner to manage. These things we understand, these concepts very easily. We have buffer, so we chill. We waste instant burner, uh, but we want to get self repair. I have an idea. Let me show you something crazy. If I do this, right, into this, that's right, that's 12 energy. Are we content with the single um, self repair and not double? I mean, it's better than nothing, right? Sure. I know you're probably thinking 12 energy, that's insane. And Discovery does what? It does lethal. How does it do lethal? Because we got ourselves a letter opener. And what does that mean? We keep Instance Burner Turn 1. Why is that good? Instance Burner Turn 1 means we can play Echo Form with no care in the world. What about Consume? Consumers are first. If you recycle the multi, you double your energy. Now, consume is my first form of focus. All right, we have no orb slots. What can we change with that? Discovery changes that. Master strategy, look at this. Look at this. Okay, boom. I'll weaken you because you're the only one attacking. And then I have this and that, and Discovery has to cry. And with it, I cry, but... Unless we draw right now, which draws in four cards, and we get into Discovery at zero cost. Unlikely. And now that speaks for things like energy cards, like aggregate. Aggregates are important and uncommon. I haven't seen it, and it is a backbone. It's most certainly a backbone, and I haven't seen it. Uh, does Tempest do anything here? I mean, it feels like it does. Tempest right now reads 10 energy. Uh, sorry, 10. This is bad, though. Tempest is too strong. Tempest is too strong. It's 110 uh, damage. That's too, that's too damn strong. Why? Because we want to get instant burner higher. Because we want instant burner for time meter to be like around 5, probably. And... Because imagine, you change instant burner into the horn fleet. That's fantastic. Now... Yeah, yeah. I, everything's fine. Everything's fine. This deck's overpowered. This deck's really strong. It has really strong things. Um, unfortunately, yeah, I mean, this doesn't allow me to deep dive into how I want. It doesn't allow me to deep dive into the, into the class how I exactly want. Is go for the eyes better for the risk? We can take a risk and do go for the eyes, and there's uh, a chance, separate occasions, a one in three chance consecutively. So we have one in three chances to hit the guy in the middle. And by weakening, we weaken the guy in the back, and we save life that way. Now, if we miss. If we miss. We're taking 13 extra damage.
Thirteen damage is pretty significant considering we can't rest. Oh, yeah, fear in the bottle. You never miss. Chat says we never miss. That's correct. Let's get repair up. Hello, darkness, my old friend. All right, do we like darkness? Our damage profile is good, right? What is our what is our damage profile? Lightning. Lightning. Darkness helps our damage, but is our damage sufficient with the lightning? What do you guys think? I think so. Yeah. Darkness obviously solves damage in a significant way. Um, I think our damage with ball lightning rip and tear, which is, eh, eh, and the lightning is whatever. Our consume is kind of awkward with no capacitor, and our damage is actually kind of suspect. Sure. I almost dug. I almost dug. Imagine. I almost dug. He almost dug. Sometimes I just don't like to be storm, right? Just because I'm like, shit. Why would I want that? That was a mistake. The loop is setting up, right? The loop setting up, but the guy's attacking for a lot. Alright? I'm frail. So if I just do this, it's 6 times 8. 6 times 8 is 42. Forty is overblocking. I don't want to overblock. I don't want to overblock. Who wants to overblock? A man who doesn't realize that if he does a double loop, well then he's only blocking for 18. 18 plus 14. Sure, we also have hologram, but then you're also spending a shite ton of cards. A shite ton of cards. In order to do this. So then you're not being efficient with your time against a time meter that's unfortunate but loop is not upgraded so it's actually not doing that much i could probably afford it to re 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 reinforce body and pass but what i really want to do is discovery twice in a row that is awkward not getting loop out sucks right but loop in general i guess is pretty sucky when we have a world with no upgrades on it but still, it's still like some lightning damage. It's some lightning damage, I think. I think this is fine. And not great. It's not great. Sure, it's not great. Sure, it's not great. And that's because I'm purchasing damage in that situation. Only put three cards, which Echo Foam, we gotta be careful. I actually gotta slow down and think because this is not free by any means. Intense Burner got wasted. Double Consume doesn't do anything. It actually just em emaciates me. Did I say that correctly? Um, double Super Repair would be nice, but that's not really solving the fight. It's solving the future fight. Double Buffer obviously is pretty strong. My powers out, but no consume. There's no capacity. Discovery is my way of solving the game, and discovery is obviously not that great. If I do recycle, that's actually a net loss. Recycle is not being friendly to me. If I do auto shows, then I waste, <laughs> I waste myself. A beautiful echo form. You can see how things are looking pretty bad here, right? If I were to recycle, I could break even by doing zap and rip and tear. We lose those cards and then we get auto shield, defend, defend. Now, why is that good? Well, it's only 24 block. It means I lose one buffer block. Unless I draw into something nasty. Which is possible. Don't hate that. Don't love it either. Don't hate it and I don't love it. If you don't hate it and don't love it, then I guess you're indifferent. Indifferences. Yeah, we're a discovery deck. Did I mention that? I don't think I mentioned it. Guys, we're a discovery deck. I don't function in normal terms.
the hell is this? Capacitor. Yes. I kind of want double capacitor, right? But getting it out now means I can do a nice glacier coming up. And now the consume made sense. And this is a hand for the gods. This hand is screaming at me. Wow. Now, Multicast, where are you? Multicast, I know you exist. I'm going to sit here with my Loop Plus and my Multicast. And Instance on 5. So if I find Multicast right now, well, then you're dead. And that's perfect time for Instance, bro. And now I have to go wait the whole way through to do it all over again. This is perfect time for Multicast with Instance Burner at this number. And I do think that's relevant. So how can we draw multicast here with Ink Bottle? Well, it's a long shot. It's a 1 out of 18 long shot. Not the greatest odds. Okay, but we're incense. We can show. We can show for a little bit. If you reach like incense. Okay. Sure. Sure. Okay. Let's show here. Because Multicast is still not here. Okay, chill. Okay, now Multicast is legal next turn. Now my question is, are we happy with Incense on two? Okay, for Awake One, that's okay. It's not the worst. It can still target the multi attack pretty well if it's the Incense like the Awake One. Awake One is pretty scary because we're pretty power heavy. Probably just play Echo Form against Awake One and call it a day. Could have done some ink bottle stuff. Okay, it's going against this guy. These guys. Ooh, a buffer is pretty good. A storm is pretty good to accelerate damage. But a buffer seems pretty damn sick. I gotta say. I'm here the second boss. Okay, so what's up, Elo? Welcome back. This is really good. Let me explain why. Let me explain why this is so damn good. on instance 4 so let's try to make that happen freak I can't do instance I can't do the auto shield stuff auto shield you're killing me you're killing me auto shield you're really hurting me Potions, guys. No, the last thing I need to do is potions. What I do need to do is plan the turnout. No, potions are the last thing I need to do, guys. There's never, I never use potions here. Ever. Ever.
I want to do multicast. I want to keep the dark because this is bad. Oh, I'm in a conundrum. I want to keep the powers because... Okay, I want to do... Jesus Christ. I want to keep dark for multicast. But then I also want to play all these powers. Especially self repair. We have meals to get, so it's not a big deal. Ah... Uh, because I want to do loop to get the dark going. And consume the loop for that as well. I guess we can drop back into the dark. Okay, multi is really good. Is it going wrong? Uh, I can do double buffer, but then I'm selling way too hard. We don't have loop out, and I, I, I'm getting punished for not playing my powers. So waiting, waiting for multi guys is punishing me really bad here. Ah, I'm getting punished here. I. Uh. Uh, Multicast is probably better. And now it's like, do I just survive off Discovery? Uh, or should I block? I should probably do Discovery. But I should probably block. We're doing Discovery. This much harder for me. I should just end the fight. Oh god, all right. Let me not throw here. Make it nice and suspenseful, that's what we're doing. Nice and suspenseful here. That's all. The suspense is riveting. Saying we don't need fairy in the bottle, we have 700,000 gold. I really gotta find darkness again. I really gotta find darkness again. <coughs> this is perfect. Now I do multi guys and I win. Uh, I won the game, yay. Yeah, I won, I won, I won. Oh, perfect, I win. Yay. Now, does that allow me to get this? Does that allow me to get the... What's it called? Instant Spirit on the right turn, though? Does that allow Instant on the right turn? Do we know? Ah, 
not really. Okay, this could allow Insist on the right turn. Uh, the problem is I have to draw back into Multicast. Now, this is important because we want to get Insist on 4, so I can still get him with uh, Reinforced Body. The 1v1 is obviously always easier. Um, but then we have to draw back into Multicast, but if we actually just do this, we will, we'll, we will kill with just Dark Orb alone. So, getting Insist on 4 is of utmost importance for me. And self repair is not bad, considering the fact that we can get some healing for the next act, but it does do some irreparable damage. Now, he passed. He passed here, he passed. I wanted to stall one more turn, so Reinforced Body would be big. Um, if I need to kill, if I need to kill... If I need to kill... 20... 20... so 31... 31 plus 78... Is 109. 109 plus 12... Is it 121? 121 plus 9? It's 130. This man has 138 life. Okay. Is there boot involved? No. No, 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 no. Does Discovery save me? Yes, it does. Yes, it does. Perfect. Perfect. Yeah, it was 12 for electric. So we want to kill here, right? So we get into runner. Intense. I need a hero. Someone who can come and save me. I don't know what I'm saying. All right. So now what we're going to do is beat the heart, but we want a deep dive. So, guys, we have a lot of gold. Take a look. We're going to dig a relic. Who wants to dig something crazy? Anybody have any thoughts of what we should dig? Any manifestations we want to apply? Oh, by the way, Reinforced Body is a great upgrade. Reinforced Body is a huge upgrade. I should probably consider upgrading it. But the upgrade is going against a dig. Okay. All right. Money, 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 right? Panacea for the potential vulnerable. I like it. Not being frail is nice. Potions is great. Cultist Plot is damage. Buffer is huge. Centennial Puzzle is draw. Oh my god. Core Shards, maybe. I, I want to start buying. I want to start chopping off these. I like to start off small. I, before, I already see things I like. So this is... I like Turnip. I like Centennial Puzzle. I like Buffer. I like Cultist Plot. I like Panacea. That's a lot of gold. But we have 841. Right? So, let's... So, we're saying that the Frail is... D is it counteracting for the heart? Before we do that, let's do the puzzle. Okay? Or we calculate. Eh? Sometimes it's a burner and we calculate that bad sometimes. More buffers, I think, is always great. What powers you got behind that? Echo Fall. I like it. I'm not gonna think twice. Okay? Gambling, gambler's move, very, very strong potion. Gambler's move, very strong. So they say, okay, we well, you know we don't need the frail. Why don't we need the frail? Because we have intense burner turn two. We don't need frail for that. Also, you know why frail doesn't matter? Because we have buffers. So we don't need frail. It saves us a lot of money. It saves us a huge amount of money. That means we can do cultists, gamblers, panacea. That saves us a lot of money. <laughs> Bury the bottle! 
in mind that this panacea also works for speed putt if we don't get it on turn one. What's up, Vorpal? I haven't seen you in forever. What's up, man? Wait a second, wait a second, wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. Yeah, I know, Rive was with for so long, I know. Poor Rive. Oh, looks like a skip. Everything else is a skip. I think Sturdy Pot's not bad, but. Alrighty. Discovery versus the bomb. Man, I love Discovery. But the bomb is 40 AoE. What? Oh yeah, I'm sorry. I ate her mango chunks, that's not good. 40 damage AoE versus Discovery. Intense is here anyways. Let's get dark right there. We wanna get dark nice and and big. Multicast conundrums. Now we have bomb coming up and multicast potentially. Multicast is already lethal. But we wanna kill right on four, right? So Yes, multicast is lethal. But I could even do this. Get ink bottle stacked. More discoveries. Bias cog. Now, I may be crazy, call me crazy, maybe. But don't wanna have a panacea in my discard? I do. And now we are unhinged and unmatched. And let me show you why. Because if you notice, we have loop. Oh, this to end at four. So what can we do to end this at four? Well, one thing we can do is get double echo form for sure. And that's gonna help me end it next turn. Ah, you guys want to know if I can get infinite energy? Right, this is going to help us kill next turn, right? Certainly. I got perfect block. Perfect block. They want to kill now. Who wants to kill now? How do we kill now? We play darkness. Ink bottle is perfect. Incense is perfect. Tori has arrived. Potions are stacked. Thunderstrike is here. Man, this game's crazy. Uh, so, Thunderstrike is at. I like it. It's attractive. It's attractive. It is huge. Master Strategy is nice. Blind for more. Everything's nice. Everything's great. I love it all. Blind for Guaranteed Weekend. We have, we have Why do you Guaranteed Weekend? When we have Buffer, we also have Tori Tungsten Rod, which is stupid. And we also have uh, Incense to next turn. So I, it's like, I think Master Strategy is better. Performs better. Considering what we have. Panacea for the Vulnerable. But maybe I don't care about the Vulnerable. I actually do it for the Dexterity now. Because what does the Vulnerable mean to me? Well, it doesn't mean shit. Why? Because we don't take damage turn two, and we don't probably don't take damage turn three. Am I being rude to the spire? Maybe. I would have cared. I, I would have cared about the uh, the vulnerable if I didn't have incense and Tory rod. 
No, dexterity is huge. What do you mean? I'm reinforced block. <laughs> reinforced body is how I block. Dexterity is huge. Are you kidding me? I'm mainly blocking with dexterity. Frost orb is a once in a while. Maybe sometimes the consume can do something kind of thing. Dexterity is huge. I want to get this drug on bigger. Caliper, so it's zero damage. It's zero damage, but it wastes my uh, my buffers. Any buffers were over a coin. Do I want to waste my my, uh, my centennial puzzle? Probably not, right? I want to do double lightning because that gets a lot of damage, and double lightning also makes thunder strike even better. But then I waste centennial puzzle. Probably gonna waste regardless. The only problem with Centennial Puzzle, if it wastes it, is that it, Echo Form might it might pop out. And if it pops out, then we're, we're missing an Echo Form. I can probably stall here. I'll probably stall here. And of course, we don't get the Thunder Thunderstruck or whatever. Toy Rod just saved 75. I know, it's incredible. Look at Discovery stuff. Sickening. How many Echo Forms do we have? Discovery, like really? That's gross. Release the fairy. Now look at Thunder Strike. Now look at the. Oh my god. Oh my god. Where's calipers? I need calipers for the homies. <laughs> oh my god. And instant spinner's like, oh, back to zero damage. Let's finish with Thunder Strike. Strike. 
Where the hell is it? Just chilling there. Yeah, discovery is really nice of uh, defects. Yeah, I love discovery defects. All right. Well, I didn't get to deep dive as much as we wanted, but it was fun nonetheless.